Here are three lessons from the world of improv to help you communicate more effectively. Instead of getting ready to talk, listen. In improv, you don't plan what you're going to say. You respond in the moment, which means you need to listen to what's being said. One technique is the last word response, which requires you to start your response with the last word your partner said to you. Don't assume you have all the answers. Because improv is based on unpredictability, you never know what your partner will say next. Using how, why, and what if questions show curiosity and open up the conversation to new possibilities. Help everyone feel safe enough to contribute. One of the main tenets of improv is yes and. In business settings, the yes and technique is known as plussing, which is building on someone's ideas and saying yes and rather than yes but. When you communicate with curiosity instead of judgment, you'll be able to soften criticism as well. By applying improv techniques at work, leaders can help everyone have more fun and be more creative. Improv gives everyone the opportunity to feel heard, making the team experience more enjoyable than going it alone.